students let's start with the first reaction that is nucleophilic addition reactions of alkynes so here what did i say in the index we are going to see the hydration of alkynes okay, what is hydration basically hydration reactions hydration is nothing but you will be adding water molecule so you whenever you are adding water molecule this particular thing happens in the presence of strong acids what is the strong acid which i am going to show you the strong acid which i am going to take you take here is sulfuric acid or mercuric sulfate right in the presence of this only the hydration around the triple bond happens right, let us see the reaction now during this process first important thing which we are going to learn is in this type of reaction we are going to learn a concept called keto enol tautomerism or enol keto tautomerism okay here we will be getting first enol and then go there so i am writing enol keto tautomerism okay what uh, is this we will see gradually so here first let me take an alkyne so I'm going to take an alkyne, but here I'm not mentioning which alkyne it is. I've taken the general one. Now I said we are going to do the hydration reaction. Hydration is nothing but addition of water. When you're adding water, what, what is important? This has to occur in the presence of an acidic medium, isn't it? Right? So HgSO4 what slash H plus. That means you are taking as presence of a strong acid. Once you're taking this, what will happen? This water molecule, just see here, careful whenever this is adding right so hoh you can write water as hoh isn't it right there is a cleavage of this triple bond here and how does it add it's going to form a compound let us see now what is existing c double bond c now what else is left r alkyl group is present on one side there is a cleavage of the bond here one h adds here this h adds to this alkyl group there is one more carbon here with alkyl group r and your OH is left out. Is it it? Yes. So this OH, suppose if I have expanded right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, isn't it? Right. This is what is the name of this? Right. This is alcoholic group, isn't it? Alcoholic group, that's why we, we call this as enol tautomer. Enol. Enol means enolic means alcoholic group. So enol tautomer. Now what will happen, this enol tautomer is in equilibrium with, you see here, is in equilibrium, I am writing this, is in equilibrium with, yes, I am writing a compound, see here, R, the same thing, C, this is here, then, careful, C, okay, I am taking this C, R is still there only, fine, double bond O, Okay, where, what happened to the hydrogen now? This hydrogen is going to shift to this carbon. To see here. Now, simple, the hydrogen was here. There is a shift of hydrogen from this carbon to this carbon. Then it is going to form a different compound. Now, what is this compound? This is ketonic group, isn't it? That's why it is called keto tautomer. Keto tautomer. So this is enol tautomer and this is keto tautomer. This interchange or this equilibrium existence between the enolic group and the keto group or the enol tautomer and the keto tautomer, this phenomenon is called tautomerism. Okay, keto enol tautomerism or enol keto tautomerism. So this concept of existence of equilibrium between both the isomers which are, in, which are inter interchangeable right now what happened in keto enol tautomerism one of the hydrogen from here has shifted to this carbon that only is your keto enol tautomerism done now let me show you one more example suppose if i take this example now i'll, I'll be specific now i'm going to take acetylene now I have to add water because it is hydration HOH. Now what is important? You should have an acidic medium that is sulfuric acid slash mercuric sulfate or slash sulfuric acid. Isn't it? Yes. What temperature? It's going to occur at 330 Kelvin. As I said, <coughs> there is a cleavage of this bond. Isn't it? Yes. So there is also a cleavage of the bond fine so this hydrogen goes and adds to this and this OH comes and adds to this then what do I get this CH becomes CH2 isn't it yes after that there is a double bond existing to this CH your OH comes and adds what is the name of this compound this is 1 2 3 4 why right? this is called vinyl alcohol vinyl alcohol done fine so now this further 
as I said, it is exists in equilibrium. This is all enolic group. Now it has to, this hydrogen has to shift here to this. This hydrogen will shift here. It's going to sh be in equilibrium. This H will shift to this carbon. So this becomes CH3 and single bond CHO. What is this? This is acetaldehyde, isn't it? So this is how it exists in equilibrium with the uh, this is keto. This is enolic totomerism, totomer. This is uh, keto or this is aldehyde now, isn't it? So this existence or this particular keto enol totomerism is explained using hydration reaction now let us see one more let me take out this page and give you one more yes let me take out. now let us see one more example for hydration of uh, unsymmetrical alkynes suppose if i take example two okay in example two just see i'm going to take which one is this this is propine let us write the name propine here i'm going to do hydration reaction water as i said it, it happens in the presence of a strong acid mercuric sulfate or sulfuric acid so what's the temperature 330 kelvin so this bond breaks here how do i get just see here this also breaks and the product which i get in this case is proponone this is proponone so this is how it adds so the cleavage is here two hydrogen adds to this carbon and wherever there's bond broken oxygen comes and adds here now let us further see addition of some more i said what did what did i give you in nucleophilic addition reactions only we will be seeing addition okay further examples so now i'll be showing you addition of hcn what is hcn hydrogen cyanide here this breaks up into h plus and cn minus Right? This is a nucleophile. Now the same thing, suppose if I take acetylene, I am going to add HCN. There is a cleavage of the bond, plus and minus. Again, there is a cleavage of, or there is a bond which is broken here. When this breaks, okay, what is required? Here basically, I this whole reaction occurs in the presence of barium cyanide. This barium cyanide we use it earlier like uh, we use it in the production of hydrogen cyanide the poison is hydrogen cyanide but here we are using it right as a source of your cyanide now what happens the bond breaks what product do i get i'm going to get this is here this hydrogen goes and adds to this carbon ch2 now double bond this ch is here and this cyanide comes and adds to this what is the name of this this is called acrylo nitrile done let us see one more example here here i'm going to show you addition of methanol ch3oh so as i said methanol where does it break it breaks here and this becomes plus so we have two and a ch3o minus and h plus right so this is a nucleophile here now when I'm, I'm taking again, I'm taking an alkyne, I'm going to add CH3OH. As I said, where does it cleave? It cleaves here. Now what do I get? Immediately when this is, there's a cleavage of the bond here, you need to break this bond also. When this breaks up, now what will happen? The hydrogen goes and adds to this and methoxy group goes and adds to this. I'm going to get when this hydrogen adds it becomes CH2. Double bond is still existing, then this is your CH. After that, O CH3. What is the name of this compound? We'll be naming in this compound as methyl. Okay, let us start from here. Methyl. This is vinyl, isn't it? This is your vinyl group. This is methyl, vinyl. This is oxygen here, ether. So let us write methyl vinyl ether. This is a compound, right? Now, let us see one more example here. Suppose if I take um, acetic acid, okay? As I said, I'll be showing you the addition of acetic acid as well as diacetate also, isn't it? Fine. So, here, uh, suppose if I take acetic acid, reaction with acetic acid. So, acetic acid formula we very well know. Just okay, let me take an example. I'm going to take an alkyne. I'm going to add acetic acid CH3COH. Now, where is the cleavage exactly? It's going to cleave at this point. Plus. So, what do you get? 
right so <coughs> here you going to add or uh, this whole reaction occurs in the presence of barium acetate valency of barium is 2 acetate is 1 again there is a cleavage of the bond here now what will happen this what will happen this hydrogen goes and adds to this carbon this acetate group comes and adds to this carbon now what do you get i'm going to get uh, this way let's see ch2 ch okay i need to write double bond first let us write that and see what happened ch o c o ch3 Further, suppose if you're further adding here only if you're adding two moles of this here the same case like, or to this only suppose further I want to add CH3 COOH again there is a cleavage of the bond here there is a cleavage of the bond here this hydrogen goes and adds to this carbon you get CH3 and this minus goes and adds to this so what do I get I get CH O C O C H three is one case, and the second one O C O C H three. Done, isn't it? Yes. So this is the reaction with acetic acid.